Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I am Lily and today we are going to talk about reed and fibre sustainability. Both reed and fibre are semi-scarce materials that we have in the game. Some areas where you land can have lots of both, while other areas can have few of any. In order to stay for more than a decade in the same area, you need to be vigilant in not wasting any of these resources. In order to achieve this, there are a few things that you need to be aware of as you are building your tribe. Number one, there is no need to build more than one big reed heart. It is only when your population is way above what the Mesolithic could sustain that you might need more to keep the unrest from growing. There was rarely any tribes in the Mesolithic that was more than a hundred members. Since the sleeping arrangements are always first come, first serve, there will be a natural rotation about who sleeps where. And if you remember to always only have enough huts for everyone to have a place to sleep, everyone will in turn sleep in the better quality hut. You do not need a storehouse for each and every food resource that you have. You should instead focus on the large amounts to make sure that they last longer, such as dried fish, dried meat or even hazelnuts. When your big reed hut and your storehouses are built, you should put down the harvesting to the bare minimum. This minimum should be roughly what you need per year to maintain and repair at least one of your buildings. Since it is not likely that you have built both your big reed hut and all your storage houses at the exact same time, they will therefore need repairs and maintenance at different times. For this reason, you do not need any large amount of reeds in your storage areas. Their decay rate will always be a lot higher in your storage areas than in its original place. There is also no need to harvest a large amount of plant fibre, as the only time you will need it is when you are building your baskets or your ropes. The ropes will need plant fibre, and the ropes are also used in many of your buildings. When you are done building whatever needs rope and plant fibre, remember to put down the harvesting limits to very low. You should only harvest whatever is needed per year to maintain and repair any buildings that needs plant fibre or ropes. Just like the reed, the best storage place for your plant fiber is actually in its origin. Last, but certainly not least, is the use of the tribe clear task tool. If you are not 100% sure of what exactly you are doing, leave the cropping to the automated system. There is no gatherer that will ever crop a plant that is too small or not fully matured. When you are using the clear task tool, it is extremely difficult to avoid the plants that are still small and still growing. Hence, you will get a much smaller amount than you otherwise would if you waited till the system had done it. 